Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to share my evening skincare routine. You can finally pre-order my book Joyful using the link in the description. I am so excited to share it with you all. It has everything from delicious plant-based recipes to education on how spices can heal your body, meditation tips, basically everything you need to make your life a little bit more joyful. So please go ahead and pre-order now and I cannot wait for you to have it. <laughs> is sponsored by Banyan Botanicals and I wanted to talk about one of my favorite products from them called Nasya Oil. Now Nasya is an Ayurvedic practice to help clear your mind. Your nostrils are linked to your brain and your head and that's why when you get really congested um, or when you have a bit of a cold your head also feels really heavy and stagnant. So regular Nasya practice actually helps to keep your nose and your mind clear too. It eases congestion and congested breathing and also helps with dry nostrils. I get dry nostrils a lot during hay fever season and this really helps with it. It's basically cleansing for your nasal passages. And if you think about it, we breathe in so many toxins and chemicals throughout the day. And so oiling your nose helps to moisturize it and acts as a protective barrier too. This Nasya oil by Banyan Botanicals has eucalyptus in it and lots of Ayurvedic herbs like Brahmi and Skullcap, which are incredible for mental clarity. It's so easy to use, so don't worry, it's not a complicated practice. You literally lie down, you pop a few drops into your nose, you take a big sniff in and that's it. It's super simple. And it actually smells really good too. If you want to check them out, you can click the link in the caption below. And if you do the dosha quiz on their website, which by the way is so useful, um, you can get 15% off your first order. The dosha quiz is great because it tells you your body constitution and you'll also end up getting personalized wellness tips once you fill it out. Go and check them out and definitely try out this practice for a clear nose and a clear mind too. For anybody that knows me, I invest most in skincare than I do uh, for anything for my body or my face. I really appreciate skincare, especially since I hit my 30s. I feel like everything that I did in my 20s is now catching up to me and I can notice what's happening to my skin and I'm just more mindful about it. And so I don't really love wearing that much makeup and therefore I think looking after your skin internally but also externally is so important to be able to feel confident in my skin and not feel like I wanna put anything on top of it on a daily basis. To be honest, even when I go out and about, I don't tend to wear much except for a bit of like cheek blush or a bit of lip tint. And I have to say there have been some seriously good products throughout the years that have made a huge difference in my skincare. My evening routine is probably my favorite, even more so than my morning one. And the thing is, it's not just because of how good it makes my skin feel. My evening routine feels like a really great self-care ritual and a self-love ritual too, to invest a little bit of extra time on myself and whether it's a mask or a little skin massage, I think it really does provide a little bit of me time that I think is really necessary these days, especially before bed when you're trying to wind down. Yeah, let me tell you some of the things. I have to say, let me put a disclaimer. I change up my products quite a bit. I'm not gonna lie, I get sent quite a few different products and so I love trying them out, but there are some that I've stuck with for years Years and some that I change out every six months because I'm still trying to find something that I really love and also your skin changes so much and so six months ago my skin was different to it than it is now and so I really try to adapt it according to how my skin feels rather than sticking to the same routine every single day. Listen to your body and listen to your skin and hear what it's saying to you and change your products uh, accordingly. When I'm in summer, my routine is different to when it's in winter, when my skin feels dry versus when it feels a little bit oilier. There's just different times of the year where your skin will also change. So take note of that and then find the products that work for you. So let me start off with the first thing I usually do for my evening skincare routine. The first thing I do is an exfoliation. So some people do exfoliation like two to three times a week. I like gently exfoliating my skin every day. Now there's pros and cons to that. The pro is that your skin gets rid of a lot of the gunk and the texture for me feels a lot better if I do gently exfoliate every day. The downside is it can make your skin a little bit more sensitive. So again, trial and error for yourself what works. But I either will use a granulated exfoliator or I have been using the Sonia Dacca Flash Facial for about a year now and I really like it. It's a gel exfoliant. It has lactic acid in it, which is a gentler exfoliant. It's gel-like, so you literally squirt it into your hand, you rub it into your face and you'll see 
it almost, what's the word for it? It creates these little granules on your skin. You'll feel it kind of peeling things off your skin. And you'll also see the color change where you see it kind of taking away all the dirt. I really like this one. I have noticed, genuinely seen my skin feels brighter and the texture feels a lot better. I used to have, well, I still get it sometimes, but it's actually gotten better recently. The place I usually get the most amount of texture buildup is on my forehead. I get little tiny spots or I'll feel it go quite rough for some reason. I don't know, I haven't figured out why yet. But whenever I start exfoliating again, that tends to go away. And this has definitely been key for that situation. So highly recommend that. The next thing I do, which is, pro mm, is it my favorite part? I don't know, it's definitely, yeah, yeah, I have to say, I think it is my favorite part of my evening skincare. It's doing a mask. Now this one, I don't do every day. This is one I do two to three times a week. But when I do, let me tell you, it is incredible. Like putting on a cooling mask every single night and then wiping it off with like warm water, you feel like a brand new human. Well, at least I do. Actually, whenever I feel a little bit low in energy, even halfway through the day, my team laughs at me because I'll come out and I'll suddenly be in a full mask and they'll just, just throughout the day, just randomly when I feel like it. And it does really lift my spirit. It makes me feel cleansed from outside in. So I recommend doing a mask especially when they smell good. This Blue Magic, uh, this is also a Sonia Daka product. But this Blue Magic, it's this beautiful blue color because it's got blue butterfly pea powder, <laughs> which is really rich in antioxidants and it has a soothing effect. It helps with irritation and inflammation on your skin. Every single time I put it on, it almost feels like you're getting the ice therapy on your skin because it has this really cooling effect, which I appreciate. The smell of it, it's just, it feels like nighttime in a bottle. It's really calming. I, why am I said, I've said really about 10 times. It's because I'm really passionate about this. It makes my skin feel soothed and hydrated at the same time. Some masks I find dry my skin, especially clay masks. I find clay masks are meant to be for detoxifying the skin. And so they take out impurities, but they also sometimes take away the hydration. Whereas this feels like it's pouring hydration back into my skin. So. Couldn't recommend this more. I can't even say what bottle of this I'm on because I've bought it so many times. You keep it on for like 10 to 15 minutes. You can read a little book while you're doing that, pop on a candle, do it while you're in the bath. It's just, it's really lovely. So definitely, oh, and this also has hyaluronic acid in it too. So you don't have to put that on after if you usually do, it comes within this mask. Next up, I use a toner. Now, I like using rose water as my toner. There are so many rose-based toners that I found. Right now, I am using the Organic Skin Code. They sent me this product and I really like it. It's 96% organic ingredients. I use this in the morning and the evening. The smell is just phenomenal. Rose is such a calming scent. And so I really like it in the morning because it kind of provides this bright, fresh feeling, but then even at night, it provides a soothing, calming scent. So I think it can work for both, but oh my gosh, it's just so good. And look at the dewiness that it gives. It just feels so good. I honestly throw this on top of my skin again during the day randomly once i've done my midday mask <laughs> i'll spray this on top and it just feels refreshing and alerts my skin it's like wake up and it really does give it a nice little glow you see next up i have my antioxidant vitamin c-esque serum i love this one this true botanical chebola active serum you only put like a drop i use it in the morning and the evening and let me tell you it goes on just like butter look at that it just slides onto the skin it's lightweight and it absorbs in quite fast as well which is lovely and the reason you put antioxidants onto your skin like chabala or vitamin c or retinol is because one it helps even out the skin it helps with hyperpigmentation but also any free radical damage to your skin from the sun from all the pollution outside it helps to soothe it and calm it. It also hydrates and plumps the skin too, which I've definitely noticed since I've been using it. So try out some Chebola in your life. You won't regret it. The next thing is hydration. And this is another one of my favorite products. Even though my skin actually looks really hydrated already, why not add a little bit more dewiness? Won't say no. This is, you can tell I use this. I don't just use it, I use it. There is hardly anything left in this. It's because it smells amazing. It's restoring mood scene treatment. And I have to say, 
out of every single brand that I have used, one brand I am just the most obsessed with and have been for years since the day that I found out about it. It's my friend's brand, it's called Renava. I don't just love it because she's my friend, I love it because I know how much care, detail and thought goes into the ingredients in these products and how much research she does. It's all based on Ayurveda. It's called Renava. I feel like a queen putting this on. All of her products are based on royalty and having this really beautiful moment of self-care in your day. And for a lot of women, I think that self-care and self-love is really important. And I think skincare brings it. And that's really the essence of her products. So this has Moonseed in it and Moonseed does so much. It's this amazing color. I love when things are colored like this. Wait, let me show you. Look at that, it's so beautiful. I love when things have natural color from them. All of this is from just plant extracts. Moonseed in Ayurveda is, wait for this, is considered the root of immortality. It's said that the Moonseed helps with incredible anti-aging properties. And you know what, I don't actually like the anti-aging thing because we all are gonna grow old, but what it does is it helps to keep your skin in the best, most hydrated version of itself possible. Plumps your skin, it deeply hydrates it. I'm telling you, when I go to sleep like this, which by the way, I look like I've been deep fried and that's pretty much what I go for when I'm doing my skincare. If I don't look like I've been like a fried donut, then it's just not working. But I go to sleep like this and my skin absorbs everything and I wake up and it's just glowing. My skin just feels so glowy when I wake up and that's how I know an evening skincare routine has worked is when I wake up and I feel amazing looking in the mirror. Even if it's just like the moment I've woken up, I'll look in the mirror and be like, wow, this really worked. So all of these products together, I have found really do that. And don't forget your neck, by the way, because you don't want to be looking like 30 on your face and then like 60 on your neck because that can happen. We tend to look after our face, but we forget about the rest of our body, especially our neck. So give the same amount of love to your neck as you do to your face skin. But look at that moon seed. It just, I have to say though, it is thick. So it is not for someone, I don't know whether it would work with someone with oily skin. I have dry skin and so it works wonders for me. My skin just loves absorbing oils. But this, as you can see, it's a thick balm. It's no joke. So test it out on your skin. You might need a little bit less or a little bit more depending on what your skin is like. I use it a lot. I cannot talk more highly about this product. So great. Next up we have our eye cream. I've actually always struggled with pigmentation around my eyes. I love being a brown woman, but being a brown woman, I tend to get kind of, I call them panda eyes, where I actually have darkness that surrounds my eyelids and underneath. It actually used to be a lot worse and I used to be a bit lazy, honestly, when it came to eye cream. I was like, whatever, I'll just put what I put on my face, underneath my eyes. But I regret that now um, because I've just seen what a difference eye cream can make. And this one, I actually saw my friend, I talked about this in my morning skincare routine, but my friend was wearing it. It looked so glowy when I saw her, Deepika. She looked amazing. And I was like, what have you got on your skin? She said, you know what? I've been using this Shani Darden eye cream, but I've been putting it all over my face and it looked incredible. It's really dewy um, and luxurious. And so I literally just put, surround my eyes like this, little dots all the way around. And I tend to just massage around and out because you know what? It's almost like giving yourself a little bit of a lymphatic massage around your eyes and we tend to hold a lot of water retention. There's a lot of water retention that happens around our eyes. That's why we get puffy eyes. And so always when you are massaging, go outwards, outwards, outwards. And I have noticed, I kid you not, doing facial massage at the end of the day has helped with depuffing in the morning. It's helped with sculpting, whether it's to do with cheekbones or even here. I'll use a gua sha sometimes at night to do this, or I'll use a kansa wand. I have to say it does make a difference. So definitely recommend that. I have also started using in the morning and evening, depending on how I'm feeling, but I'll use these ice globes. You put them in the freezer and it's just freezing cold and you put it on your face. I tend to use it more in the morning to depuff but at night a gua sha is a great tool. If you learn how to sculpt with that and learn how to lymphatic drain your face with that, you'll notice a big difference with puffiness if that's something you 
find difficult if there's something that you struggle with. So the last product I wanted to show you, if you really wanted to lather just a little bit more on, but you can use this instead of the moon scene treatment if you want to, instead of the balm that I showed you. This is another Renalva product. It's the Brightening Saffron Serum. Now saffron is meant to help brighten and just glow up your skin. Saffron is like more expensive than gold, okay? There is something seriously magical and powerful about saffron. And so you can actually use this in the morning and the evening. I tend to only use it in the evening, but it's got a really beautiful color to it. Again, feels so great. Smells just like you want to eat it, honestly. Honestly, you know what? I tend to, I like buying skincare that I feel like I want to eat. That's how I know it must be really good. The smells of it, the textures of it, just really buttery and just smooth, really, really good. You know what, I, I ask you all to count the amount of times that I've said really in this video. I'm going to pledge from this video on, the word really will not be used. I'm gonna look up um, in my thesaurus for the other words I can use instead of really, and I will be plastering them on my wall. So I apologize for the amount of times I've said really in this video, but I love <laughs> this product, have done for years. I will say, one thing I will say about some of these products is they can be a bit of an investment. And so one thing I found is if you want, unfortunately, when you want good quality products, you have to pay a little bit extra for them. And I know with Renava and with some of these other products, they really do think about the way that the different ingredients are. This saffron, the way that it's actually created and the way that the saffron is put, is put into this product is a really long process. And so, there's a reason why high quality products can be quite expensive, but they might just have to end up being an investment. So put it on your Christmas list or give a hint to the people around you whenever your birthday's coming up, because um, it just, it's very worth it, I have to say. If I think about what I enjoy spending extra money on, it is probably skincare more than other things in life like clothes. I choose skincare over clothes, to be honest. So that's my evening skincare routine to feel like a dewy donut or dumpling, whichever you prefer. Let me know actually, I would love to hear all the products you will use in the evening because I love switching up and I'm so open to new things. But also if you try these products out, also tell me in the comments how you found it. If you try this whole skincare routine, take a picture of your face in the morning and tell me you don't feel amazing. Send me those pictures because I love seeing stuff like that. But thank you so much for watching and let me know if there's any other types of videos you want to see in the comments below. I appreciate you watching. If you made it to the end, thank you very much. Sending you so much love for this week and thanks again for watching.